This property in this little lake that you see around us, really the Cherokees used to come up for the valleys below for the same reasons people often come today from Charlotte and other areas. It's just cooler up here every summer. Now, Chitola is an Indian word. Cherokee, it means haven of rest. Uh, so that's where the really history began. 1846 was the first deed, and it was a guy named Lot Estes. And Lot bought this place. It was um, $5 for 100 acres. And then Luther Snyder is probably the most famous owner, and Luther came along um, 1924. And he took this beautiful place and um, really polished it. So that's where the, the history of tourism began here. This property is very unique. It's 87 acres. Uh, it connects the whole backside of this, connects to a national forest that's 3,700 acres, 27 miles of trails, connect right on the resort, so that you're lost in all of this. You come off the road, and you're all of a sudden in this magical, tranquil place. And on the other side, I've got this quaint little village of shops that take you back in time with a big park and uh, the gazebo where they do concerts at night. And it's a village. Uh, and that's something you want to live with and, and get to know the people and be a part of. Blowing Rock's been a, a tourism destination and a place of respite for 150 years. We're blessed by geography. At 4,000 feet, things are always considerably cooler here. Some of the things that really uh, make Blowing Rock stand out is the fact that we are a resort mountain village. Well, Chateau is so important to us because they've, number one, been around for so long. They have such a history here and it's really just a strong part of who we are as a community and a tourism destination. You know, after this day is done and it's time to come back and take it easy, now, this is the place. There's three levels of lodging here. The Bob Timberlake Inn is probably the very top of what we do. Uh, Bob became a great friend of ours over the years. Um, he's just a kind man. And we went to Bob and, and said, uh, Bob, how would you like to do a, an inn? When the folks at Chateaula we're talking about changing the look up here. Uh, they ask us if we would be involved, fortunately. And Chitola is, is a different place. It's, it's the people. I have no financial interest in this place or anything else. People ask me that. But we love the place. We love the people. And we want to work with the best people in the world. And that's really and truly why I'm here. I can't imagine anybody who knows more about doing it right than Bob Timberlake. He's got an incredible eye and a passion for it. And you feel it when you go in those rooms, it flows and you go back in time. You know, you want things for people to do where they can really unwind and relax and, and enjoy being somewhere else. So when you're done with all the play and all the activities, we head inside and whether you're up in that spa or in the pool with the kids or later down at the restaurant or, or at the pub, it's all about coming back to someplace warm and welcoming. There's many wonderful places on this planet that I've been blessed to see and stay at. And I've had good times but if the people make you feel like you're supposed to be there and it's part of a family, uh, it becomes memorable. And that's what you take away from something like this. And that's what we work on creating every day at Chitola.